Here's a wrap-up of recent felony charges in Grand Forks District Court. Jessica Highmark has been charged with felony possession of a controlled substance by inmate and infraction of possession of marijuana. According to court records, she was arrested on probation warrants and warned about turning over any drugs before being booked into jail. She said she didn't have any, but was allegedly found in possession of marijuana at the jail. Matthew Hippen has been charged with felony possession with intent to deliver meth. Police allegedly found him slumped over the wheel of his vehicle in the 3000 block of South 25th Street. When he exited the car, he handed police a smoking device, and a search found meth and $1,400 cash along with messages on his phone regarding the distribution of drugs. And Brian Johnson has been charged with two felony counts of simple assault. According to court records, he was pulled over by uh, Demers and Washington Street for erratic driving after running a red light and almost hitting a car. Officers determined he was under the influence of alcohol, but he refused a test. And at the jail, Johnson allegedly assaulted two officers. And Dexter Netterville has been charged with two felonies of burglary and terrorizing. Netterville allegedly forced his way into a residence where there was a no-contact order against him. He allegedly assaulted two people and knocked the phone out of a woman's hand while she was talking to 911 and then fled the scene. And Chasta Adams has been charged with felony possession of drug paraphernalia. According to court records, officers responded to a report of a criminal trespass and found Adams as a passenger in a suspect vehicle. She consented to a search of her purse, which allegedly contained a needle from a syringe. Adams has prior drug convictions. And Donald Davis has been charged with felony domestic violence. According to court records, police responded to a domestic dispute. The female victim reported Davis had allegedly choked her leaving her gasping for air. And Laurel Burns has been charged with felony, possession of drug paraphernalia, and misdemeanor refusal to halt. According to court documents, a UND police officer spotted her walking the alley between Sorority Fraternity Row and asked her to stop. She took off running and was arrested on two outstanding warrants and found in possession of a needle with residue. And Justin Nagel and Lillian Ray, no booking photo, have both been charged with felony conspiracy to commit theft of property and misdemeanor, deactivation or removal of a theft protection device. According to court documents, they're charged with stealing $2,403 worth of merchandise from Target on different occasions by defeating the theft protection devices on the merchandise. And Madan Sanyasi has been charged with felony terrorizing domestic violence. He allegedly uh, threatened to kill a female victim with a knife. Uh, the uh, female and children hid in a bathroom uh, waiting for Grand Forks police to arrive. And finally, Clinton Mitchell, no booking photo available, has been charged with felony possession of meth. It's his uh, second or subsequent offense. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.